morning guys so i hope you guys are well okay and you would have understood the portions which we have dealt with till now right and what was the last portion we dealt with some graphical representation right so since you know this chapter is a continuation of the chapter from your ninth class so a lot of portions will be repeated okay similarly today's video will be also having half the portions which you have learned in your ninth class but some of you guys might not be remembering those portions that's why we are going to brush it up okay so the heading today we are going to have is kinematic equations for uniformly accelerated motion remember guys this is something which you have learned but as the heading was what equation of motion so here now we will write that as kinematics so i'm sorry if the spelling com comes up are wrong kinematics equation oh, it, okay it came up wrong because i'm writing with a stylus and i'm not confident with my writing here All right equations All right kinematic equations for uniformly accelerated motion better to use short forms right anyways so this heading might be new for you but the contents are something which you have learned earlier remember you heard about three equations of motion the first one was v is equal to u plus a t and the second equation was s is equal to ut plus half a t squared right and the third one was v squared minus u squared is equal to 2 a s these three equations are something which you have learned in your ninth class we are going to say or these three equation itself is known as kinematic equations and this three equations are also only for those objects which are having uniform acceleration and we term that uniform acceleration as a right so initially when you were learning in the ninth class uh, the initial velocity was termed as u right and the final velocity was v and the uniform acceleration was a and the duration of time period was t displacement we termed that s right now today's or in 11th class these terms are a little bit change actually not change but the representation we are going to change okay same content okay that is we are going to consider a body that is moving in an acceleration or constant acceleration of a itself right but its displacement we are going to write it as x and that displacement is happening in the time interval of t and the initial velocity of that object is v0 and the final velocity is v right these are the parameters which we are going to introduce here clear right suppose uh, the object was at the initially at origin right so the initial position was zero so that now after traveling an x distance its position now is here so the displacement now becomes x right remember i shall draw a little bit larger picture suppose the ball right is here it is at an origin zero zero right so it moves and it reaches a point like this so that now it is at x0 y axis 0 right so so its displacement now i will term it as x that is what which we have mentioned now this object initially had the velocity say v0 now its velocity is v and the time duration for this displacement is t from here to here right clear right i hope you understood the parameters and the acceleration is of a constant acceleration or uniform acceleration right so at time interval zero right this is at t is equal to zero right that is what means from this interval to this interval is t so this time duration will be t is equal to t right the final position will be at time interval t then what is acceleration you know it is v2 minus v1 right divided by t2 minus t1 right what is your v2 this velocity which is v what is v1 this velocity the first velocity that is v0 divided by what is t2 this time that is t and the, what is the initial time period that is 0 so you will get an equation v minus v0 divided by t as simple now i can write the same equation i can uh, rearrange it becomes a t is equal to v minus v zero or i can write v is equal to v zero plus a t 
you have learned right you would have learned this as v is equal to u plus a t right clear now guys now we are going to derive the same equation by our earlier what i said that is graphical method right let's say we change the color guys okay so this is our axis let's say like this right now the object say this is its velocity time graph right now let's say this is its initial velocity right the velocity is increasing with the gradually so that it is having a uniform acceleration so that now it has reached a final velocity say b right now initial the time period was zero right the body achieved a final velocity v by a time period of t clear right now this is a graph now what does the slope of a vt graph gives you slope of a vt graph gives you what acceleration right so how can i calculate this weird slope i'm going to make a triangle like this this is theta right let's name this one as c a b right now slope of this vt graph a is what tan theta right what is tan theta it is a b by b c now what is a b this distance this whole distance is v and this much distance is v zero right so when i reduce v zero from v i can get a b right so what is a b it is v minus v zero look into the graph guys right and what is b c this distance what is this t right and what is tan theta it is acceleration so a is equal to v minus v zero by t or we can write the same right this a t is equal to this one a t is equal to v minus v zero or v is equal to v zero plus it you got the same equation of motion by graphical method easy i hope this much is clear this is something you have learned guys we are brushing up or i would have asked you guys to take the ninth class textbook i am damn sure you guys don't have it that's why i'm taking it again right now we have can use the same figure can be used for what our second equation of motion right how right this is where you didn't know how, why or this uh, you would have learned finding the area then you have written the uh, then the displacement is equal to sum of area etc so that's why in the graphical section itself i told you the area under vt graph gives you what displacement right area under a vt graph gives you displacement so the area under this Right, this much area will give you what displacement so we are going to change right so what is area under the this uh, i'm writing that area of what o c a t o c a t right, what is the area there are two surfaces right one is triangle the other is rectangle so it is area of triangle a b c right plus area of triangle or sorry, rectangle c b t o right now what is a triangle of uh, area it is half into base into length right so let's move on how can i write for this triangle half into basis b c right so writing half into b c into a b right that is the height of the triangle plus length into breadth right so let's take it as bc into bt right now half into what is bc as per the diagram it is t what is ab as per the triangle this one is v minus v0 v minus v0 plus bc is how much t and what is bt it is v0 right now we are going to just write it rearrange it right now we have just found initially let's move on see v minus v0 is equal to right v minus v0 by t is equal to a or i can 
go by the previous one remember this v minus v0 this one v minus v0 is equal to 80 right so the same i can bring here also so v minus v0 is 80 so i am writing it as half t into 80 plus v0 t right or i can write area of triangle entire area of that air surface right that gives you what displacement and what was the displacement term which you introduced now it is x is equal to half this is 80 squared plus v0 t or we can arrange this one as v0 t plus half 80 squared that is the equation for x right so x is equal to v0 t plus half 80 squared this is the expression for displacement right clear that is the second equation of motion or kinematic equation clear right simple now let's move on with the third equation right actually the third equation we are going to introduce or we are going to generate from the same equation this from from here right so it's so a same graph so from this step we are going to write okay i hope you understood so let's give another color here okay sorry so writing so the third equation x is equal to what we have been written half t v minus v0 plus v0 t right now we can just rearrange it two i'm going to give here also to make the lcm proper so v minus v0 into t plus this t goes over here 2 v0 t divided by 2 is equal to x right now bringing t inside the bracket v t minus v0 t plus 2 v0 t divided by 2 right now this is 1 v0 t then 2 v0 t the answer here will be v t sorry v t right plus v0 t whole divided by 2 right let's rearrange it again that is equal to t like uh, taking common v plus v0 whole divided by 2 this is x right clear right now this t i'm going to replace remember we had v a t is equal to v minus v0 right so similarly t can be written as v minus v0 by a right substituting this value here v minus v0 divided by a into v plus v0 divided by 2 right now what is a minus b into a plus b or a plus b into a minus b it is a squared minus b squared right so i will write it as v squared minus v naught squared divided by 2a is equal to x or i can write the change or i can change the equation as what 2ax is equal to v squared minus v naught squared or v squared minus v naught squared is equal to 2ax this is our third equation of motion right something which you have learned so how many equations we have learned and its derivation by the graphical method actually three equation of motions one is s is equal to ut plus half a t squared then b is equal to u plus a t and what v squared minus u squared is equal to 2 as in our ninth class right now the same equations we have derived here graphical method itself just we change the what terminologies in place of u you are writing v naught in place of uh, s that is displacement we are writing x and place of final velocity we are writing the same v itself right clear right now these equations right we generated by the assumption that the initial position is zero right suppose right initial position means uh, the initially at t is equal to zero we assumed that x is equal to zero the displacement or the origin we are placing it position as zero right now suppose at t is equal to zero it is not x is equal to zero not to start starting with origin but say that is here this is its origin right 
suppose initially the body when we assume we try to derive the equation we assume that the body is at origin itself right now suppose if this is the origin and the body is not positioned here let's say the body is positioned here so that means it is having initially a position x naught it is not equal to zero it is not here let us uh, position here right so let's say that position x we are going to take it as x naught initial position when t is equal to zero right and the final position we are going to take it as what sorry we are going to take it as x right so the displacement will be x minus x naught right so here the changes will be there in equations right the total displacement will be x final position minus initial position x minus x naught right the first equation will be remaining as it is remember which was it? v is equal to v naught plus et because there is no equation or no displacement mentioned in this equation whereas in the second equation it is x we remember as s is equal to ut plus half at squared right or it is x is equal to v naught t plus half at squared right so in place of x i have to write x minus x naught the displacement is final position minus initial position is equal to v naught t plus half at squared right similarly the third equation will be also changed right so it will be v squared is equal to v naught squared plus 2x in place of x it will be x minus x naught right clear keep that in mind guys all right many of the questions it would not be mentioned that the object is starting from origin then another position might be given right now we are going for this method by which you can find the same three equation is known as calculus method now calculus method is using uh, both differentiation and integration differentiation you have a certain bit idea right now what do you mean by integrating see suppose i'll take the same example itself right suppose uh, we'll take a simple example of suppose there is an area say like this right and in this area out of this i have only given the area i have calculated for the small area say ta now say this rod or this plate is kept over here which is origin now zero right and this position i know it is from let's say let's say a right so i know the position from zero from a right out of this plate i have only known this area small da if you want to find this small or the entire area of the plate the method of integration is used that means i just have to integrate the small area da right integrating means i am going to keep this area repeatedly like this like this like this from which position from zero to a right if this small area is kept from this position to this position repeatedly that is known as integration when i integrate the small area from lower position let's say zero to the higher position a i can find the entire area of this plate that is what you mean by integration that is you will be already given a small area and that area can be or small value and that small value can be integrated from one limit that is called lower limit to an upper limit right and then i can calculate the entire area what was differentiation you will be given this small larger quantity and after of that you are finding a smaller quantity that is known as differentiation remember what was uh, instantaneous velocity smaller displacement with respect to smaller time that is velocity right so we are finding smaller displacement for small time interval so you are finding a smaller quantity that is differentiation if you are finding a larger quantity from a smaller quantity that is known as integration keep it that in mind now so integrating right from lower limit to upper limit after integration of tsa i get a quantity called a i'm just getting telling a value say let's say x right after integrating in dm suppose i am getting a value x then i have a position 0 to a right what does it mean it means that right after integration right after integration i have not told you anything about uh, the value of how to integrate etc i'm telling you after integration say i got a value x 
and then I have to put upper limit and lower limit right so how can I substitute this upper limit and lower limit that is a question if you have to next right that means I have to substitute first the upper limit which is a in place of x right so it becomes a then I have to put a minus right then I have to write the lower limit what happens if I put zero that is the lower limit in x it will be become zero this is the fraction right so after integration you have to put the limits also you will do the problem then you will understand clear right so for producing the first equation of motion you know what is acceleration it is dv by dt right so i can write it as a dt is equal to dv that means the object is moving a small displacement dt and it is having a velocity dv so if i want to find the object is initially at zero origin or say displacement is zero and it is reaching s right initially its velocity was v naught it is now v initially it was at time period zero now it is at t time interval so out of this i am given a small dt time interval right so if i want for the entire duration that means dt has to be integrated from lower limit zero right to upper limit t dt right is equal to now i have give, been given a small velocity dv if i want to find the entire velocity means i have to integrate dv from lower limit v naught to upper limit v clear right i hope this much is clear now now we have to move on with the small equation guys now see integral 1 dx is equal to x plus c but you need not learn about c that you will learn in maths integral 1 dx is x right similarly these two equations are important x raised to n dx integral x raised to n dx is x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 keep it in mind these both equations are important integral 1 dx is x integral x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 we will use it in the formulas okay now here let's see uh, with this figure in place of x you are having dt or t and in place of 1 you are having 1 itself right 1 dt same right so i can write this equation as what a right integral 1 dx is x means integral dt will be in place of x i have to write t so t then i have to write upper limit and lower limit is equal to similarly it is what 1 dv so it is what v upper limit v lower limit v naught right i am just equation using this equation guys clear now we are going on with the solving so after integration you have to put what the substitution has to be done it is upper limit in place of t i am writing t itself minus i have to put the lower limit that is in place of t i have to put zero so it becomes t minus zero right now in place of v I have to put the upper limit becomes v then i have to put minus what then i have to put what lower limit in place of v that is v naught so you will get a t right is equal to v minus v naught or i can write this as v minus v naught is equal to a t or it is v is equal to v naught plus a t you got the first equation of motion right this is known as what using calculus method for solving the first equation symbol right now we'll go with the next equation right what was v we know it as ds by dt right now i will write it as ds is equal to v dt right now i'm going to see i'm that means initially it was in position s naught now it has reached s by from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to t right then initially his velocity was v naught now his velocity is v now out of this entire displacement i am given a small displacement ds if i want to find this entire displacement means i have to integrate ds from s naught to s clear similarly right i have to integrate i am being given small time interval dt so if i want to find the entire time interval means i have to integrate time from 0 to t right now in place of v from the previous section i can write 
in place of v i can write v naught plus a t right so d t 0 to sorry, t now i am just concentrating in the arch side guys right so integral 0 to t v naught d t i am bringing this term inside plus integral 0 to t a t d t simple i just brought it inside now let's move on with the lhs side integral x dx remember integral x dx was x itself right so here it will be integral what so it is sorry uh, what did i say integral 1 dx right integral 1 dx is x itself so here 1 ds less so it will be what s itself and that is upper limit lower limit is equal to now this i am going to write constant term v naught right i am integrating what dt so only the terms with t can be integrated so v naught doesn't have t with it so 0 to t dt plus see a is a constant term brought a outside 0 to t t dt only t terms can be retained right now upper limit lower limit so s minus s naught is equal to v naught what is integral x 1 dx it is x so integral 1 dt will be t upper limit t lower limit 0 plus now this t dt this is something you have to learn from the previous section i have wrote a formula and i'm not going to back right so let's write it down so, okay sorry i will write it down right only this term then i will rub it off okay integral x raised to n dx remember it is x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1 right so here in place of x we are having t integral t in place of n i am having 1 right dt so put the value t raised to n plus 1 is 1 plus 1 that is 2 and 1 plus 1 is 2 right so this expression i can write this is a integral t squared by 2 upper limit t lower limit 0 right now this is something you have to know right so s minus s naught is equal to v0 upper limit minus lower limit will be t itself plus a t squared by 2 this lower limit is 0 goes off clear right that means s minus s naught is equal to v naught t plus half a t squared i got the next equation symbol right now we are going for the last basic equation of the third uh, motion right motion's equation which is c how can i generate it dv by dt acceleration right now i can write this as a is equal to dv by ds into ds by dt why see ds ds cancels i get the same equation right so i can write dv by ds into ds by dt now what is ds by dt velocity right so i can write velocity into dv by ds symbol that is a now i'm going to bring it here so a ds is equal to v into dv right now again i am given a small segment of displacement a small segment of dv velocity means now i can what integrate it so integration integral what s naught to s ds is equal to integral how is velocity changing from v naught to v v dv what was integral x dx right x raised to n plus 1 1 plus 1 becomes 2 2 so here it is what a integral x is or integral 1 dx is what x itself so here it will be s s naught s is equal to v squared by 2 right from here upper limit lower limit a s minus s naught upper limit minus lower limit then i have to put upper limit that is v squared by 2 
then the lower limit will be v naught squared by 2 right so a s minus s naught right v squared minus v naught squared whole divided by 2 right or i can write 2a s minus s naught is equal to v squared minus v naught squared you got the third equation clear right it's not that tough right it's clear for you guys okay now go through the entire calculation method uh, which has been done this has to be by hearted there is no other way okay i hope you have understood till here right so the integration differentiation part might not be registering in your mind for the first time right but as you go um, or calculate or understand it again and again it will be very easy clear right i hope this much is clear right 